Hello, Gemini, and welcome to Ascending Soul's Journey. I am Lorian, your intuitive guidance counselor, psychic medium, to give you the messages for this week. And we are going to look at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Gemini. I'm going to look at your end and the other side, whether it's a person, your career, something going on in your life overall. In general, we're going to look at it. And please thank you and keep in mind, I am too going through a lot of changes. I've been sick and I appreciate your patience while I uh, delayed getting some of my readings up, but I feel better and getting ready to get back on track. So with you, Gemini, I'm feeling um, uh, what I was hearing is the word perseverance, okay? Some of you might be in a place right now where perseverance is absolutely applicable. All of this going on around in the world, and there's a prime example, all of the confusion that's going on around us, all of the uh, the fear, the um, just not knowing, the uncertainty, right? creates that and we have the card of growth so you're getting ready to grow into a place of, of of understanding that this change that is going on in your life is going to better your life that's the message that i'm hearing now we're going to look at your end and we're going to look at the other person but again they're telling me and <clears throat> excuse me and some of you may be having difficulty speaking you might be having difficulty swallowing. Please pay attention to that. I feel that you might, it, it's just more of a sore throat than it is anything else. This growth, this expansion, they're telling me that this is something you've been working on. Some of you, this is a project you've been working on where it may have been put on hold because of what is taking place. But this is about perseverance and continuing through the pain of everything, the fear, anxiety. And I'm hearing the word uh, worry, okay, which is the same basically as anxiety, that they want you to persevere. Now you receive the, the Knight of Wands, and this is exactly what they're saying. Get on your horse and move forward. Move toward what makes you passionate, create. This is bringing out that beautiful creative ability that you have deep within you, Gemini, and, and expressing it to the world. Taking action in a leadership role that's going, in a leadership role that's going to turn the wheel of fortune in your favor. Now, some of you, this is you having an opportunity coming in out of the blue that is gonna escalate you. And what I mean by that, I said this in another video, I don't remember which one. Mm, I think it was Cancer or Pisces. So if that's in your in your chart, then check that out. But it's about the opportunities that are coming in now, the fourth year residency, the doctors, the nurses being able to bump up to get out there on, on, on the front line because we just don't have enough manpower out there. Overcoming the fear and pers persevering forward. Oh, see, a knight, hmm, a knight is so incredibly brave. This is a person that goes into the fire like the fireman, that goes into the burning building, the doctor that goes into the hospital right now, right? So this is about you actually overcoming this fear and, and perseverance to push forward. You know it, you feel it. Wands is about feeling it deep within, right? Very spiritual card. So this means you're feeling it from the depth within. And I'm hearing that you've been working on it for uh, four dash five. That's either four dash five months or four dash five years for some of you. So that could be education, like I just said, and that could be putting together a new plan that's going to propel you forward. So Gemini, we do have the King of Swords. This would indicate Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarian, and the Two of Swords as well. Whoever you're dealing with, <clears throat> excuse me, whatever situation you're dealing with, you know, the King of Swords 
how's this? Uh, they can be very cold and aloof. Now they're very honest normally if they're in a high vibration. This is a person that you're dealing with that is very wise, okay? They can see things. They might be highly intuitive, whoever you're dealing with, Gemini. This could be a person that you hold in an authoritative position. Somebody that you may have been in and out in their life or they were. This is an opportunity. Even a contract, a document coming back around again where they or you, somebody sat there a little bit too long. Now with this moon behind it, and Gemini, please join me in the unity prayer on April 7th at 12 p.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time. The link will be, the information will be down below. But during that particular moon, that prayer is going to help to change a lot of people's lives. And that's why I'm doing it at that time where whoever you're dealing with is getting ready through the moonlight to make a decision, to come forward and tell the truth. Whatever this is, some truth is coming out that's going to turn your life into a brand new direction where you're going to start seeing things um, in your dreams. They're saying they're going to download things into your dreams. That's really going to grow you into this new avenue. Mm. I like it. It's a very positive energy. Now, I feel in the past, this was not positive. This was very draining, very draining, very emotionally uh, toxic is what I'm hearing. But all the changes that have taken place through this time apart, while you've been working on this project, you've eliminated all of the negative aspects. No more worrying, getting on your horse and saying, that's it, I'm moving forward. Not going to do this anymore. Now, some of you are going to take action in your love life. You might be saying, you know what? I see what's going on in the world, but I'm going to start communicating with somebody online. And I feel that this is going to be a really good opportunity for you, Gemini, to communicate to people online where you can recognize, are they telling you the truth? Are you seeing the real person? They may say they're six foot one, but are they really five foot six, right? It's like, because we never know who we're dealing with on the other end. Illumination, taking action to create your own business, putting the contract, the documentation into place. I'll pull an angel message right now that's going to coincide with this, and I'll pull a, a romance angel card for you as well. So we have Isabella, which came out for another sign, and I think it was Pisces. So yeah, some of you definitely are dealing with a Pisces. Uh, yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive. This is about you staying positive in your expectations, in your focus, perseverance, determination, the growth, the inner growth in you recognizing the growth in this other person as well, this other situation, this other experience, the opportunity is going to be amazing for those of you where it is a career opportunity, <clears throat> where I think it just, it, you don't even think about it. Do not mm -mm. get out of your head, make the decision, follow your intuition. That's what's going to propel you forward. Yes, the timing's right. Yes, you've grown. Yes, you know exactly what to do to turn your wheel in your favor. And I don't mean it in a manipulative way. This is, this is you getting back what you put out for so long for whatever this person, this experience, this situation is, right? Now, we have two cards that came out for you. One is codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. You may have been dealing with somebody who was uh, an enabler. You know, with the King of Swords, they can come with some baggage, absolutely. And this is not high vibrational baggage. This is low vibrational baggage. This is harsh communication, although it could be truth. It could be presented in a way that's very brutal. Whatever it is, the addictions, the... Um, the toxic that I was talking about is going to be removed through
through this information. Now, you're dealing with somebody that the two of you had a lot of attraction for each other. Whether it be that the two of you work together, and I feel for a lot of you it had everything to do in a work environment where you may have met them, not necessarily dated them, for some, yes. For a lot of you, this is a family dynamic. This is a person in your particular uh, past. Yeah, your family you may have been disassociated, disconnected with this. Captain Lovebug's here. <laughs> Hello. Um, and he's a Capricorn. So whatever is taking place, we've got empathy and we have the word of happiness. So I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. And that's you saying, oh yeah, that's you stepping into the full empowerment of yourself saying, I know what makes me happy. I know how to make choices that are right for me. And I can be in a relationship, be happy, and keep my unique identity all to myself. Whatever this situation is, they may have been dealing with that. But this empathy, understanding where they're coming from is going to help you. And what we're seeing play out in the world may uh, bring you or the other person to the place of having compassion where they may not have been before. This may have been a lot of indecisive, like I said, come and go in and out energy where they were upside down and now they're turning into being upright. So Libra, I would really like you to stay well, stay safe, and have a wonderful week. Much love.